Let's take a look at the starting lineup for Ward House. Kemar Foster, the captain between the sticks. They have a back four of Blair, Simpson, Wilson, and Keneal Hyde in the middle of the park. Andre Smith, uh, Devontae Walker, and of course, Nikoi Christian. And up top, that's where all the goals have come from. All seven goals. Thomas with two, Brian with three, Fletcher with two. Javain Brian has been a key cog in this team so far. Let's see if he can get back on the score sheet today. Now let's take a look at the starting lineup of Veer United. Roger Williams, of course, is between the sticks. They have a back four of Pinnock, Clark, Donovan Clark, that is, who returns to the starting lineup. Alvin Strawn and Kemoy Phillips in the middle of the park. J Javier Brown, Sujay Graham, and Dylan Clark up top. Dustin Cohen with a goal to his name. Jason Dyer and Ricardo Dennis. As we take a look at the full-time highlights here from the National Stadium East Field, Wardhouse, they really started out with a lot of purpose. And the Blair's ball inside the box was brilliant for Javain Bryan. You can watch this over and over. Bryan with a wonderful finish here in the ninth minute of play. Emphatic two. Wardhouse with the advantage. Then Blair again is having a really good game. Confidence rising. <laughs> a raised eyebrow there. That one over the top. And this effort again. Trying to pepper the goal of Roger Williams. But uh, that didn't miss by much as well from Devante Walker. And Fletcher kept this one in place. Some really good work sending this one inside and it was made easy for Brian, scoring a second goal in the 25th minute there. Really good work by Fletcher. And Fletcher finding Brian, who just nodded home at the back post. Then Christian sending that out wide and first time connection. Wasn't a bad one at all. And then in the second half, the poacher in Brian activated the initial header off the woodwork. And then the follow-up by Javain Bryan across the line. And the Wartel supporters were happy with the hat-trick from their number nine. And then Dennis not on target, twisting and turning, dragging that shot just wide of the mark. And then this bit of play here, the header from Pinnock, diving header just past the post. Then the challenge came in from Simpson. I felt he get a touch. The referee didn't think so. And the Waterhouse players couldn't believe the call against them. But Brown converted the captain of Veer. Foster guessing the right way, but wasn't really near it. And then, close to the end, Jaheim Dorman pretty much putting a lid on things. That was the icing on the cake. Dorman opening up his scorecard for this season. And the sub who came off the bench had shut the door on Veer United. And that was all she wrote at the end. As we see the full-time statistics, Waterhouse with 11 shots, 7 on target. Veer United only had the one shot on target. They committed 18 fouls, 9 more than Waterhouse. And Veer United has the majority of the yellow cards as well. Uh, Waterhouse getting four corners, one more than Bay United, and the Waterhouse had the majority of the possession as well at 54%. Javain Bryan, today's man of the match. You've been on fire this season. Your coaches said it's hard work. What do you think it's down to? Well, first and foremost, I've given God thanks to be here for my first season. It does take a little bit of dedication and patience. And you said patience, but you definitely weren't patient with any of your goals. You took all of them away with extreme efficiency. 
you're really doing well. What are your aspirations for this season? Well, my aspirations for this season is like uh, my first season, it should be going hard, 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 and non-stop running. So you don't have a goal total that you have in mind? Well, me to put it at 15, but you don't let me can break that 15 mark. Yeah, and I'm sure you would have had your eyes now on the golden boot here right up there with Justin Dunn. What, what are your thoughts on that? Well, as I said, we just have to go back to the training ground, come back again and just put in more work every, each time we play. We just put it out and that's it. Excellent performance today and best of luck for the rest of the season. Respect. Yeah, man. We'll now be speaking to Coach Jeremy and Doug.